Yo, yes, my people. Yeah, nah. I was just sat, you know, I was chatting to my brethren, yeah, and I was just thinking to myself, man, was just reminiscing about back in the day and that, yeah, because I sent him over that podcast, what I'd done, and I was just chatting and just reminiscing, man, I saying, yo, like, man kept up some fuckery back in the day, you know, like, even before the gang thing, you understand what I'm saying, so it's like, man used to get about, yeah, and this is why, like, we allowed... Like, we kind of gave in to peer pressure. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, because back then, man, would drive by a crew, yeah? So because we had everyone in school and that, and in the older years and that, yeah? Them caution, man, there, you get me? Shout out, Spider and them, man, there. Them caution, man, there, yeah? Always used to try to get on to us. Always used to try to get on to us, you know? Not even just them, like, those couple next month from out of school and that, yeah? Used to try to get on to man talking about raw. Man, a drive by crew, man ain't got no bullets, man. Because obviously back then, man, we're driving in it, but we didn't have no heat. You get me? So, me and my brethren, like, we sat there and we were saying, my man's like, yo, psh, we need to do something, you know, like, we can't keep making man say these things and whatever else, yeah? So now we've gone and got ourselves a 4 4. You understand what I'm saying? This was way back in the day. A man sold it to us, yeah? But then he's saying, rah. Like, it's hot. You get me saying, yo, it's hot. If you take it, but if you get caught with it, just know that it's hot. So man is saying, rah. We didn't give a fuck. We didn't care, you get me? So man, I got this thing now. So we got this thing in it. So now me and my brethren are gassed, you know, like, yo, psh, man's got the thing, man can't wait. You understand what I'm saying? The day we got it, the day we got it, my must have went back to my mum's, yeah? So my mum's got it in the bag. So me and him are rolling. Like, this is how, this is how mad we was, like... Man, they're getting about on foot, school uniform, and this thing in the bag. Straight after school, man, I've gone and picked it up from my man, And then heading back to my mum's, you get me, to get changed and that, yeah? As we got back to my mum's, my mum said to me, she said, Rah, someone out there has been troubling my cousin. You get me? So she's telling man, go deal with it. So, all right, safe. Me and my man have gone. Gone out there. We see my man. So man is saying, rah, you're doing to my cousin, Jay, where all that going on with ourselves, yeah? I can hear my brethren gassing. Saying, rah, yo, mama, just pull out the thing, you know, where to tear, tear. So now he's getting gassed up. So I can hear what I know what he's on about, innit? So now he's getting gassed up. Then he's pulled out the thing on my man. So my man's like, rah, rah. So then the next day in school now, Man, I took it to school and everything. You get me, G? Man, I just back it out on people like, yo, say that thing now. Say about drive-by crew now. You get me? And it's like, when I say this year, it's like, and it's all stemmed from like peer pressure. Do you get what I'm saying? You see, because man are running around saying, rah, you man, a drive-by crew, you ain't got no heat. And these times, man didn't have no beef with no one, so we didn't need no gun. We didn't need no strap. But due to peer pressure, now we got this thing, you get me? So again, me and my brethren now, there must have been about four men in the whip. Four men in the whip, my brethren's tapped, like, jumped in the whip. My man's got in the passenger seat, yeah? And I see him put the thing in the glove compartment. So I'm rolling, I'm thinking, why have you got the thing? You understand what I'm saying? Like, why have you actually bought it, but... Is what it is, isn't it? So we're just rolling, so we're rolling now, yeah. We're just getting about old T and that. But never forget, we must have come down Pemberton Street. Then we've gone through the alleyway onto what onto Wetherton. You understand what I'm saying? So now we've gone through the alleyway onto Everton. As we bent onto Wetherton, yeah, man seen some tall guy walking, you get me? So I'm saying to my man, give me the thing. So my man's give me the thing now, yeah. So we're rolling, creeping on my man, turned off the headlights. Like I said, mum was about 13, 14 years old. Like, we didn't have no beef. So now, man, I've turned off the headlights, yeah. I've wound down my window. So my man's passed me the thing. So I'm cruising, second gear, just cruising. Lutz, my man's walking, you know. My man's just walking along the pavement. Walking, walking, walking. My man's looked. You see, when he's looked at me, I've got him lined up with the thing. My man's looked at me. Look straight, 
and just carried on walking. So as he's walking, I'm cruising at the, at the pace he's walking. So I've just got him lined up like just looking at him. And he's, look, he's looked at me and then carried on looking straight. Listen, my man disappeared. Believe me when I say, yeah, my man disappeared. Disappeared like he's ducked, but then he's disappeared. I don't know what happened. I swear to you now, yeah. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened because now, then we've like crept away. So now, man, I'm looking in the rear view and the wing mirror is not. My man's disappeared. Like, I, I swear to you, yeah. I don't know if he went under the car. I don't know if the ground swallowed him up. My man disappeared. I don't know where he went. So now we've just got off. But it's like I'm sat there and I'm just thinking to myself, yeah. Bare different times. Like there's another time. Because now we're rolling with this thing, innit? Because like we're making our crew name get to our head. So now we're getting about with this thing. So another day, man used to take it school every day. You get me? So this one day now, come on, coming home from school, I was walking to my mum's, yeah. So we're walking through like Addison Crescent. So as we're walking through there, so it's me and my same brethren again. This time I've got it in my bag. You understand what I'm saying? So we're just there walking. Yo, we've turned the corner, bumped into 5 on bike. But at this time, yeah, it was like with Section 60s were just rife. You get me? So anyone that don't know what Section 60 is, it's, it's, um, it's a power that the police can um, enforce, yeah? You could just stop and search anyone, like anyone. You don't need no, like, or suspicion of it. You understand what I'm saying? You could just stop and search anyone. Section 60, yeah? if you know, you know. So we know the Section 60 on. Man's turned the corner into 5 0. 2 5 0 on bike. Listen to me when I say my ass fell out. Fell out. So I'm like, the 5 0 guys looked at me, I've looked at him. The guys looked, looked me up and then looked me down. You see, when he looked up, I shit myself. You see, when he looked down, I shit myself again. So now we're just walking. Stiff. You get me stiff as anything. So it's me and my man. But I've got the thing in, in, in my bag. But I've got my school uniform and that on, in it. So now we're walking. Five O's looking at me. You now my man's just following me like that. So I'm just walking like, oh my days. Like shit in it. And we've got past them. Even we got past them, you know, like, I've gone to look back, bridge, because I've gone to look back. Oh, shit. So now we're just walking stiff, then we got round another corner. We ran, ran all the way back to my mum's. But it's like, this is what I'm saying. So now I've showed you the difference, innit? I showed you the difference, because days before, man are pulling out on people like we're bad, innit? Pulling out on people like we're bad. Taking it to school. You understand what I'm saying? All these kind of things, lining man up, like innocent people just lining him up just for fun. You understand what I'm saying? Like all these dumb things, but then you see when shit got real. When shit got real now, now man's faced with 5 0. That's when the reality hit, like, oh shit. And it's like I say, like even that kid there, you see that kid that man pulled out on? Like at the time, we was all laughing and joking. Now, all it would have took was for him to then turn around. And then go get himself one. So now he's saying, "Raw KPB and them one pulled out a strap of me. And this is where beef stems from. You understand what I'm saying? So then it would have got into some mad politics, yeah? Then you see when you break it all down, the whole thing stemmed from. Man was saying something about man's crew name and whatever else, yeah? So then, then it escalated from that. We gave in to peer pressure. And then it just escalated from that. And it could have just got real sticky from then. You know what? Truth be told, it kind of did get sticky from then. You understand what I'm saying? Because then from that point on, so now, because now it's like, man has said, yo, them man are sick. Them man drive cars and rare tear tear. And shout out Mayhem. Shout out Mayhem. I don't care. I'm saying it, yeah? You see them times? Like these times with man with DBC, Mayhem used to have beef with us in it. You understand what I'm saying? Mayhem used to hate on us. I don't give a fuck how I say it. Mayhem used to hate on us. Cause we used to drive around in whips, yeah? And then man was on bike. You get me, G? I'm not getting at no one. It's facts, in it? And if you know, you know. Like, this is this has been a conversation amongst the man them for time. So no one don't start talking about, oh, my man's getting at the man. Fuck off. So anyway, yeah? Them man used to try and, like, cans, my brethren. Mum used to try and run man down and up in the whip. Like, yo, 
rare, 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 yo, stop driving around here and you understand what I'm saying, all them kind of chats, but we were still doing what we was doing anyway, yeah? And then that's where it all like escalated from, you understand what I'm saying? Because our man started seeing us rolling and man started rolling with certain man and this and that. And that's where it all stemmed from. Obviously, in the end, we all became bredgings, innit? We all became bredgings. But in the early days, DBC and Mayhem, like it was beef. I swear we clashed one time as well. You get me, G? You get me? Yeah, man, see, man clashed. You get me? If you know, you know still. Yeah, I reckon we won that one still. But yeah, man, so... Different, isn't it? Like, this is how, like, the thing escalated. And if you break it all the way down, it stemmed from peer pressure. You understand what I'm saying? When really, man, just say, oh, man are chatting shit. Let's let man chat shit, in it. But then we've gone and took it to a next level. And they started getting ourselves heat. And we didn't need no heat. You understand what I'm saying? And that could have just been totally different. It could have been a totally different scenario, G. So, yeah, so the moral of the story is, like, as you, it's just giving into peer pressure, G. Sometimes you just gotta stop and think. You get me, G? Yeah, man.